Hello everyone. This video uh, is going to detail instructions for installing Oracle Database 21C Express Edition on the Windows 10 operating system. What you are going to need for this uh, installation is the following. You need a Windows machine, Windows 10 or Windows Server uh, 2016 or 2019. You need at least uh, eight gigabytes uh, for the installation of the Oracle uh, database software. You need at least two gigabytes of RAM. And of course, you need uh, computer uh, administrator rights to perform the installation. So if you have all of these uh, requirements or all of these requirements, let's get started. Step number one, you need to download the uh, installer for the Oracle database 21c as you can see here I have a uh, Google uh, search engine open type Oracle database 21c Express Edition click on the first link here and you will find yourself on the uh, uh, Oracle database 21c Express Edition page select the uh, installer that is appropriate for your system, which is for us is uh, Windows uh, X64, 64 bits. Click on the installer and it's going to start downloading. I'm going to cancel this because I have already downloaded the installer, which is right here. This edition of Oracle database is free of charge. So you can download it for free, install it and use it. Next thing you need to do is extract the installer and run it. So right click on the installer and select extract all or use whatever program you want to do the extraction. Once uh, this package has been ex extracted, go inside its folder and look for the file setup.exe. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you get prompted by uh, user control, user account control, just click yes. Let me bring everything down. So on this welcome screen, just click next. On this screen, just accept the terms and conditions and click next. Here you need to specify the directory in which Oracle database 21C Express Edition will be installed. You can leave it just uh, by default. But what you can also do, if you have uh, like a second partition here, a D, for example, you can put the installation there instead of putting it on the same uh, OS uh, uh, partition. As you can see here, I do not have uh, like enough space on my C drive, so I'm going to delete some files to uh, allow the Oracle database to be installed. After deleting some files, as you can see, I have uh, more than eight gigabytes free now. So I think I can perform the installation. So I'm going to leave this to default and just click next. As you can see here, it's still complaining about space. So I need to add more space or free more space on this machine. Actually, this is a virtual machine, so I just went and uh, added more uh, uh, disk space to it. So now it has like 34 gigabytes of free space. So let's try again. Now <clears throat> it's asking me for a database password. And this password is going to be used for sys system and PDB admin account. So let's set a password. I'm going to use a simple password since this is just a, 
like a test uh, database so set the password and click next so now it's telling me that these are the parameters that will be applied to uh, this installation of Oracle database so this is going to be the destination folder C app uh, Muhammad product 21c this is the Oracle home under 21c DB home XE and this is the Oracle base so click install so take note of these uh, parameters then click install to start the installation during the installation a window may appear uh, called window security alert in this case nothing terrible is happening the system is simply asking for permission to access networks from the java platform so if you get if you get such a window just click allow access the installation may take a while depending on your uh, machine performance so the more cpu and the more ram that you have the better also it helps if your uh, disk is ssd compared to HDD uh, disks so this is the window that I was just talking about just click allow access to allow the installation to continue so here the installer is uh, configuring some database components like the uh, listener so you see that the listener has been configured uh, successfully when the installation finishes you are going to see uh, something like this so the installation was successful and these are the connection information to this oracle uh, database that you have just installed so to connect to the multi-tenant container these are the parameters localhost 1521 this is the port to connect to the pluggable database so you have these parameters uh, server is localhost port is 1521 and the pluggable pluggable database name is xepdb1 and to connect to the uh, enterprise manager uh, application this is the url so what we can do is take a screenshot of this uh, screen using the uh, snipping tool and save it just in case we need this information later and of course we are going to need them So let's take a screenshot and then save it. I'm going to put it here in the desktop and call and call it Oracle install. So it's right here. Then click finish to close the installation wizard now to test the uh, database let's connect to the server using the standard SQL plus console utility the SQL plus utility can be found in the start menu under uh, under the database folder so right here uh, where it says uh, Oracle database 21 look for SQL plus so click on it to launch it then enter the username and password which user you can either uh, connect as sys or as system at least for the moment those are the users that we have so if we do system and we type the password that we have created during the installation and sure you will be connected to the database server if no errors pop up during uh, the connection process then everything is fine 
and this means that our database have been installed successfully if we want for example to start up the database you can do start up and it says that I don't have enough privileges so if I exit and then open uh, the SQL plus utility again and connect this time as sys user which has more privileges than the system user in order to connect as sys user you need to do sys as sys dba and then type the password because uh, that's the role of the sys user now if i do start up it says that the database is already running so i can shut it down if i want to and as you can see the database is now shut down and then I can bring it up as well and the database is now mounted if you remember on this screenshot that we have taken during the installation we said that the link to the Enterprise Manager uh, Express is this URL. So let's try to access this URL. So it's https colon slash slash local host colon 5500 slash enterprise manager so it gives us a warning here about the connection not being private click advanced I click continue to local host so this is the Oracle enterprise manager uh, page so if you want to access this application you can use either sys or system users so let's try sys with the password and the container name so we leave the container name to default and click uh, connect and sure we, ha we are able to log in to the uh, enterprise manager application and from here you can monitor your Oracle database server uh, monitor things like <coughs> resources activity services containers and also monitor uh, the SQL queries that are being executed on your uh, server for the time being we have now no SQL queries uh, running I just wanted to show you this application we cannot cover it in this video so that's it for this video uh, I hope uh, that you've found this video helpful for you and thank you for watching